In this episode of Life in Japan, we're going to talk about the 11 things that we've grown to love in Japan. Stay tuned. Before we start this video, just want to mention we got a very special package that we're opening up at the end of the video. It's our silver plaque, so make sure you stay tuned to the end to see us open and celebrate our silver plaque. Okay, let's talk about 11 things we've grown to love here in Japan. Number one, taking off shoes in the house. The house stays so much cleaner when everyone just takes off their shoes out right in the entryway and it's just nice. Yeah. And the yeah. shoes go up. And when we go, like, we go back to America, it's always so weird to go into homes and you're walking on carpet and you have your shoes on. It's just like, whoa! <laughs> All right, number two, drum roll. The Japanese toilets. That's mostly you. That's mostly me. I love the washlets. Oh my goodness, once I started using them, it was, it was game over. They're the best. Japan makes the best toilets and whenever I travel, I miss them. So I do, and wait till I get home and I'm like, yeah, all right, I bet. So today is the day that we take possession of our brand new building. Hey, mister, what's up, dude? Whoa. This area over here is gonna be the cafe, and then down on that side here is gonna be our stage. Large bathroom. This toilet. Yeah. has more options than just about anything. You have a regular flush, a light flush. Stop for the rear, for the front, ladies. Privacy. Music. <laughs> just in case you're making too much noise. <laughs> you can turn up the volume. You can turn up the pressure. Wand sanitizing. And if all else fails, you can call for help. Oh, let's Are not those, call for no. help. All right, and speaking of things that Japan has perfected, it's not just the toilet, but it's the whole bathing experience. It's onsen. Mm. Oh. Our whole family loves a good onsen. We do, and they, and they have awesome public ones that you go to, men go on one side, women on the other side. You get changed right here, and after you get changed, you come over here, shower off. Japanese always shower off before entering the onsen. And then right here you take the top off and enjoy. You can go outside, you can be inside. They, oh my goodness, have all kinds of amazing things that we just, we love. And even at home, the way that they do it, they have the toilet and the bathroom separated so that when you're getting clean, you're getting clean. And when you're doing your business, you're somewhere else. <laughs> well, we're heading down to the onsen now. I don't know how much I'll be able to show because, well, you get in naked. <laughs> girls and guys take turns, so they're not in at the same time. But tonight, there are no girls here. So it should be cool to have some onsen time. This is the onsen that we were just in, and oh, it feels so good after a whole day of hiking. All right, number four. Here it is. Pedestrian transportation in Japan, especially the big cities, is phenomenal. You got the trains that are great. You got, everything is so compact, so it makes it very easy to walk everywhere, ride your bike. Just very convenient for getting around on foot. Number five was inspired by Ruth. And once she said it, I was like, oh yes, this is right. It's great parks and hiking paths. In every neighborhood, you can pretty much find a park. And it's so great because it doesn't really matter where you live. There's going to be a park close by. And it's just a great space for the kids to play in after school. And run off with their energy. <laughs> And one thing I discovered I really enjoy here is hiking. And there are a lot of great paths. There, there's one around our river. There's always like along the seashore or the mountains. There's just great hiking everywhere. We have some videos on here about hiking by Mount Fuji that are great. And down Japan's deepest canyon, that, that was quite a hike. My goodness. Number six. Mama Chadi, we love our little electric bike. Why do we wait so long to discover how great Mama Chadi's are? Well, because we had twins. Uh -huh. 
and I couldn't take the same size of kids in the front and in the back. But then when Sarah started Yu Qian and I only had one kid to transport, that's when we got our Mama Chatty. What do you have here? So, this is my Mama Chatty. It's very nice because I put Josh in the front and we actually fight over who gets to hold handlebars because he thinks he should drive it. And then Sarah sits back here. To get it started, I have to first unlock it. Unlock, turn on the on button. It's an automatic, automatic. And to charge the battery, you have to take it off, take it inside and plug it in. Pretty much, I get on and I go. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, what are you doing? Are you driving the bike, Joshua? Yeah. We're Ringing the bell? Huh? Jingle bells. Oh, jingle bells all the way. And boy, that's convenient. Yeah, we used it. Number seven is convenience stores in Japan. This is another thing that Japan has perfected, I would say, is they took the idea of 7-Eleven in the US and then they made it a lot better. Look at this view here, just gorgeous. Thanks to the 7-Eleven. I got my coffee, I got a good drone flight in, now it's time to head back to the camp. Uh, what makes it so handy here? Oh, you can do everything at the convenience store. I pay our bills there, I buy stamps there, I buy tickets for Disney there, long before the <laughs> pandemic. Make all my photocopies, print photos, buy snacks and buy meals. Quick convenience lunch today with Mr. Potato Head, it looks like. And the girlfriend. I mean, there's just endless possibilities. Take out money from the bank there. Yes. That's where we go to get our money. Yeah. Number eight. If you know our family, you know we love conveyor belt sushi. Okay, one of our first stops here for our foreign travelers. Conveyor belt sushi. Very important in Japan for society. The sushi that comes out on the conveyor belt, you pick it up, you can order it by tapping on the iPad. This is some of the good stuff. Tuna. When you put your dishes in, we put them in here, the dirty dishes. <laughs> and when you put in five, if you play a game and you can win something. <laughs> here, at the top. <laughs> but we do love our conveyor belt sushi. It's something we would miss if we weren't here. Number nine, Rusan, Mama Chan. Oh, Hyakuin stores. <laughs> What would I do without my Yakuin stores? I love them. I buy a lot of stuff at them. So this is one of my favorite stores to come to because one thing, I can afford everything, huh? But also, there's so many useful and unique things to Japan that I find here. Right now it's Halloween. I don't decorate for Halloween, I decorate for fall. But it's great because like you can buy these little bags for candies and for plates. And they have, oh, cookie cutters. But like, I love the pumpkin. I'm not a huge ghost fan. I wish they sold just the pumpkin. Actually, I might just buy this because I like that pumpkin. Okay, I might buy it. And they even sell live plants. Look, you can buy tiny little cactuses. So cute. But one thing that we do buy a ton of here is pencils and markers and erasers. Look at this. Who can resist all this glitter tape for a dollar? And I buy a lot of stuff down this aisle. It's all paper supplies and I do crafts with the kids and like all the origami papers and box cutters and scissors and map and tape and Play-Doh and markers and cool paint. Oh my goodness. We have a couple of videos on this channel about that. Check them out. All right, number 10. We haven't been able to do the last couple of years because it's the seasonal festivals. Japan has awesome seasonal festivals. Each community has some sort of festival and usually it's it's unique for some sort of reason. But a lot of times they'll have a matsuri, a festival, they'll have fireworks at night and it's just, oh. We all ready for fireworks, guys? Yeah! How is it? Ah, so good. <laughs> Salty. Salty, but good. What are you eating? Popcorn. Popcorn. Are we ready for it to start, big guy? Yes. 
during COVID, they've been really restricted a lot. So we're looking forward to getting back and seeing a lot more of those. Yeah, because street food at those matsuris, they're ridiculously expensive, but oh, so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> our little local ones are not so expensive. Like I always buy the yakisoba yeah. and stuff when it's at our park. But the bigger matsuris, you know, you pay, you can pay for your food, but it's so worth it. That was awesome, dude. They're pretty. Wow, a lot of them, dude. Was that the best so far? And number 11 is the sakura, the cherry blossom blooming time. This in Japan is something awesome. In our part of Tokyo here, it happens at the end of March, early April, but it's just beautiful. In Japan, as a nation, they love sakura, so you can find it all over the place. And it is just something special when yeah. it comes. Everyone, it's beautiful. Everyone gets out, they take a bento, a picnic with them, they go out under the sakura. It's usually starting to get warmer, so everyone's tired of the winter and they want to get out. And sakura's coming up here soon. We're excited for it. We want to show you some more great places here in Japan, discover some more sakura places. Do you have any favorite sakura places? Maybe you can tell us here. Yeah, let us know. We want to explore new places. <laughs> <laughs> and that does it. How about on your list? What would be on your list? Number 12, number 13, did we miss something? Feel free to comment below and let us know. And now, let's see the celebration. So we had a very special thing come in the mail. We have Ryoji Miruka over here as well because they're gonna celebrate with us because they're a big part of our journey here. Yeah. Let's start opening this up. Okay, pass the camera. Pass the camera. Okay. Here we go, guys. Get closer, get closer. Where's Anna? Let's go take a look. Oh, not what I was expecting. Yeah, it's going to be ready in it in every morning. Okay. Now it's got Josh's thumbprint on it. Yeah, does it? Wow! Oh, so much! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, it's so cool! 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 It's Oh my goodness, my kids already got it dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth's like, this is gonna be a bear to keep clean. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness! Okay, now we gotta oh. go for gold. That's right! And then diamond. Next stop, one million. And thanks so much for watching and subscribing to Life in Japan, and we'll see you next week on Life in Japan. Bye bye!